flashing the latest BIOS. I can't help it. There's just something about it that makes me want to have the latest BIOS version on all my motherboards. We all have flashed a BIOS at some point, and you might have noticed that message on the screen telling us not to turn the power off. Have you ever wondered what actually happens when you do turn off the power while flashing the BIOS? Well, I have, so keep watching and you are about to find out. Hi, welcome to Phil's Computer Lab. In this video, I will show you how to externally flash removable BIOS chips. The model I'm using is the Genius G540. I got it new from eBay, and when I checked, it is still available. It comes with a USB cable and two adapters for various chips. You also want to have these chip extraction tools. They come in very handy, although you can use a small screwdriver to wiggle out the chips, but it's not as smooth. Okay, so let's find out what happens when you do turn off the power while flashing the bars. Let's turn the computer back on and see what happens. Well, that was pretty disappointing and non eventful. The motherboard is still working. Maybe it's because it's an A open board. They're known to be very reliable, a bit conservative, but I enjoy working with them. But let's assume you didn't have as much luck and your motherboard doesn't boot anymore. First, you need to turn off the machine and extract the BIOS chip. Plug in the G40 to a PC with the USB cable. I had some issues with Windows 10 and therefore I'm using a dedicated notebook with Windows XP on it. The G540 comes with free software, I put a download link in the description. Next we take a look at the BIOS chip and identify the make and model. In my case the chip is a Winbond W29C020. We then select that make and model in the software. A picture will appear on the screen showing you how to insert the chip into the flasher. Insert the chip into the flasher as shown in the picture, then secure it. Now all we need to do is load the BIOS file and start the flashing process. Once that's done, we close everything down, unplug the G540 and remove the BIOS chip. Reinsert the BIOS chip into the motherboard and we're good to go. And that's it for this video. These external BIOS flashers are very handy. It's a bit of a shame that newer motherboards have the BIOS chip soldered, but there are still models with socketed BIOS chips like an Asus Socket 939 motherboard I was working with recently. As always, if you found this video interesting, please subscribe, share, like and leave a comment down below.